Well, it's hard to forget this damage to two Wilson County schools after a tornado ripped through them in March 2020. And now Stoner Creek Elementary, it's back open after a long rebuild, a rebuild that had safety in mind. We continue our special reports when seconds count with News 2 meteorologist Shelby Mack. She shows us how the school made it through the storm and they are ready in case another tornado blows through Mount Juliet. Stoner Creek Elementary School reopened its doors in 2022 after the winds of change rolled through Wilson County in March 2020. Principal Amanda Smith reflects on the damage done by the EF3 tornado. So one side of our school got destroyed by a tornado in the early morning hours. It was a feeling of the unknown because you were getting calls. You could see the news coming through that a tornado had come through this area. We weren't able to get back here until about daybreak um, and then could see the damage. She says staying strong and looking toward the future was critical during this uphill battle. I think it was the people like trying to comfort them and to to reassure them that we were going to be okay. Shortly after the tornado, COVID happened. The administration and students of Stoner Creek banded together and found solutions while the building was under construction. Then, in November 2022, the newly rebuilt school opened. To watch it go from dirt to this um, is just amazing. To think that we have state-of-the-art classrooms, technology, equipment, space, our hallways are big. We still just look around and are in awe of this is actually our home and our school and we're just so thankful to finally be back in one building together. And there's a significant safety feature to this new building. It may look like I'm walking through an elementary school hallway, but actually from these doors and behind me, this is a storm shelter that meets FEMA standards. What goes into FEMA standards? You know, where your normal buildings are built with eight inch block, this one has 10 inch block. It has uh, extra large rebar in the walls. It has concrete poured down into the block. And then it has a, a one piece continuous concrete roof on top. All of these features and more make this section of the school able to withstand EF4 tornado conditions. Wilson County schools have taken it a step farther to be prepared for severe weather. My understanding is we were the second school district in the state to be designated storm ready. We did that in 2015 and we recertified that in 2020. Being storm ready is a program run by the National Weather Service. It requires schools to have storm shelters, a way to get warnings and watches, and practice drills regularly. While this journey to a new school may have been tough, Stoner Creek still does their best and has recently been awarded for their efforts. Well, we were announced a reward school and that just means that we are um, a top school in the state of Tennessee for academic performance and growth. Shelby Mack, News 2.